In this video, we'll understand what VI and Vim are, why we use them, and how to get started with some of their command line tips. VI was created by Bill Joy in 1976 for the Unix operating system, and it's a visual text editor. In fact, VI stands for the first two letters in the word visual. There's also another program called Vim, which was created by Bram Moolinar in 1991, and it is the successor of VI. Vim stands for VI Improved. The one thing you'll quickly notice about VI, that instead of using menus, VI uses key commands. So you'll notice here at the bottom left of my screen uh, that as I type, it, uh, my key commands are gonna show up. So hopefully that helps you out a lot uh, as you're learning throughout this video. So let's get started. then subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of future episodes. Most Linux distributions come with Vim already installed. And once you get the initial learning curve figured out, then VI and Vim are far better for editing things like config files and programs and more. So first things first, let's go into Vim and learn the two modes, uh, command mode and then insert mode. So if I wanted to get into Vim from terminal, I just type in VIM and then press enter. You always want to press enter because that uh, that submits your command. So in order to get into insert command, I push, I push I. Now, what is insert command? Insert command just allows me to insert text. So it's basically just a text editor. And, um, you know, so now I'm in insert command. You can see here on, here on the bottom left, I'm in, it says, it says the word insert. And I'll just say something like, you know, coding is fun. Okay. So we just did our first insert like a sentence we didn't we didn't we didn't publish anything yet but we did our first insert in vim now if i want to get out of insert uh, mode and go into command mode i just push the escape key and you can see here that the word insert disappeared and now i'm in command mode and so command mode is for obviously doing commands and insert mode is for just inputting text so you write the text after it's te the text is written in then you want to tell it what to do you want to command it to do something and when you're in insert mode um, it's just like a normal text editor in the sense that you can just, you know, your enter key, your spaces, your question marks, your everything. And the one cool thing is that in VI's command mode, almost every letter on the keyboard has a function. So now if I want to scroll up or down, um, I can just push the up, the up key or the down key or the left key or the arrow key. But let's say that I'm in the command, the command mode. Uh, I can also go up, down, left, right here, but Another trick is you can do H, J, K, and L. H uh, is left, so J is down, K is up, and L is right. So if I want to go right, oh, let me, let, me go, let me go down. If I want to go right or left, I'm doing, I'm doing H and L. You can see there on the bottom left of my, um, of my window here. Now, if you want to stop the current process and get back to the prompt, you just hold Control and then you push C. So now, how do I exit Vim? Well, we got to push escape. We got to go to command because we're doing a command now. We're not doing it anymore typing. And I just go colon, Q, exclamation point. You'll see here at the bottom left. All, all of the commands are always, always on the bottom left here. So if you're typing, for example, like let me actually go out, go out of here. If I push I, um, and now I'm in insert mode. So if I'm typing and I go, um, you know, let's say my command shows up here for some for some reason you have to know that you're not in command mode now you're now in insert mode so that's wrong so let's go back and let's go command mode so colon q exclamation point enter now we've we've left vim we're back into terminal which then takes me to the next thing which was if you want to learn more about vim you can read the manual well let's go back here let's actually clear some, some of this out and we'll type in man vim and so this is the manual to Vim. And uh, you know, there's a lot here. We know that we can push I to go into insert mode. We can push escape to go into command mode. What if I just want to exit Vim entirely? Well, I go colon Q exclamation point, and now I'm back into terminal. So now that we're in desktop, let's CD into the Walt folder. Let's go into Walt, I don't know, two. Okay, we'll show the list file. Oh, there's a, there actually is a file there. You can see it here. There's the Walt file, which is it's showing me right there. I'm just going to delete, I'm just going to delete this really quick for the sake of the lesson, um, and I'm going to go into Vim. So if I go into Vim here, I'm going into Vim while I'm CD'd into the Walt 2 folder. Uh, I, I may have said drive before. I, I meant folder. Um, so let's go in, into that. So now I'm currently in this Walt 2 folder. I'm in a text editor. I haven't published anything. But what I want to do is I want to go into Insert Command 
or in, into insert mode. I want, and I want to say uh, software is so much fun. Okay, I'm going to press escape and now I'm in command mode. So what I want to do is I'm not just going to quit out of uh, Vim. I'm going to write to the disk first, then I'm going to quit type exclamation point. Now, if I press enter right here, you'll see it, it's going to say there's no file name. Like I didn't give it anything. So the next thing that you got to do is um, you're going to say write and then quit exclamation point. However, you got to give it a name. So let's say um, our new name. Okay. Now when I press enter, it kicks me back to terminal. Look what we just did. I want to go into our wall two folder and there's our new name file that we just created. I want to open it up in text editor and there it is. Software is so much fun uh, written into our file in our Walt 2 folder that we were currently CD'd into. And that's it. So to recap, we went over the HJKL keys, which are left, down, up, and right, respectively. And we also went over how to exit Vim, how to enter Vim, how to not only just when you're quitting Vim, but also how to save your file when you're quitting Vim. And then that's how we were able to save our file to the desktop, which I just showed at the end. And we also went over the Vim manual and how to jump from insert mode to command mode. Remember, insert mode is I, and the command mode, you press escape. So run through these commands a few times to really get them underneath your fingers, literally. Or bookmark the Linode guides for a deeper introduction to other Linux concepts. And that's it. So feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified of all things Linux and Linode. Thanks.